I'm going to ask you the easiest thing first. What is the message that you want to send to drivers out there who owe the county some money? Please pay your parking and traffic violation tickets. Uh, we, the county has been lax in collecting and going after scoff laws in, in the past, yeah. and we want to change that. Uh, we are very uh, aggressive. We will become very aggressive in collecting uh, parking tra traffic violation tickets going forward. You know, everyone knows that the county is strapped for cash, and just how much money has the county lost by not collecting uh, from these folks? We have over $54 million now in outstanding parking and traffic violation tickets. So we, uh, we are very motivated to go after those people that have not been paying their tickets. Uh, and certainly the boot and tow program is such an initiative, but there will be other initiatives uh, uh, additional that will um, uh, we will be reporting those individuals to the State Motor Vehicle Bureau and they may be finding that they will not be able to renew their licenses or maybe having their licenses suspended. Controller, I was, talk I was talking to uh, one driver and she told me that she thinks that a lot of people who don't live in Nassau are getting tickets in Nassau, like maybe they would just work here. Um, how would you go after those people? By reporting them to the uh, Motor Vehicle Bureau or if they come back into Nassau County they may find their, their car towed. Now this is pretty serious stuff, this is very aggressive. Why be so aggressive now when it has been so lax in the past? Well we're coming up to the same level of aggressiveness of some of our neighboring c counties in New York City. New York City is actually much more aggressive than we are or are going to be. Now how is it decided that someone will get the boot versus the tow? Well if they have more than three tickets outstanding they may get their vehicle uh, booted and towed. Both or just, well, how do you decide which one gets which? Uh, <laughs> they get booted and then they get towed. Oh really? <laughs> yes. Oh, so they get booted and the person comes back, they're sh shocked, and then and then the tow truck comes. That's right. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> so again, it's it's terrible, but we, we encourage uh, the, the public and that's why we say, please come forward and pay your traffic tickets. Now you're kind of giving them, you know, a little bit of leeway right now because I guess the middle of March is when they really have to fear. So they have between now and the middle second week of March, correct? That's right. But they should step forward and do their civic duty and pay their tickets. Why are people not doing this? Well, I guess they've learned that Nassau County had not been coming after them and they felt they could get away with it. And that's why we took the the step and we that we did and went public and and beg the people to come forward and please pay your tickets to avoid getting uh, towed. And is this because the county executive was urging this or was there other pressure as well? Well, the, the certainly the county executive urged it. Uh, we uh, had done an audit that pointed out the problem uh, and that kind of focused everybody's attention to uh, resolve this issue and go after collecting the, uh, the traffic violations. Right, because traffic is like the easiest way to make money, right? Well, it's it's you know it's it's a good way to make money, but it's it's also a public safety issue yeah. and it's a civic responsibility issue. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. You're very for that. We appreciate that. Thank you. Pleasure.